Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I will discuss about load runner correlation. Basically when you will create your performance test script using load runner, it might have multiple dynamic value in the application and that can capture by load runner script. So in order to run your uh, that script, you need to correlation for dynamic value. Correlation is used to handle dynamic value in load runner. So load runner correlation has two types. One is manual correlation and another one is automatic correlation. So today's tutorial I will show you how to create automatic correlation in load runner to handle dynamic value. So let's go to the computer screen. I will show you step by step process how to do that. Hello viewer. Now we are at computer screen. Let's open virtual user generator. I mean load runner then we'll create a script and we'll make a um, correlation on that script so file click file then new script and solution make a name for your script let's make a name load runner correlation then click create so now we have to record our script before recording a script we need to start our server all program hp software sample web to replication start server server is started now we'll record our script so click record over here then uh, we are not changing anything start recording yes application open ups this is web to application which is default application comes with the load runner so we'll sign in and sign out very simple script we will create so first make a comment over here login and then hit ok then first start transaction tr underscore login underscore zero one so click ok and then input your user id and account click login then end transaction for login then again we'll do sign off s i g m o f f sign off click ok start transaction lr underscore sign off underscore zero two this our start transaction name hit ok click sign up as soon as application sign up then you can do end transaction click over here that's it we will do this sign in and sign up just stop recording it is generating your script after script generation it will give you the pop-up this is a dynamic value on your script you want correlate or not if you click correlate over here it will correlate automatically but uh, we'll show you something so just we are closing over here let's go to the script level so we don't need basically these cookies just delete all of those cookies whatever recorded and and only thing this application this is the web to login here is login and log off this two screen two transaction it is created now only thing if we see we can search but we see this is the dynamic value if you run this script again it will fail for this dynamic value just try with that if it is fail or not just replay let's see if it is failed or not 
this fail because the dynamic value the reason for the dynamic value if you see the console you see requested image not found this means login is not successful because of this dynamic value then this sign of image is not found that's why it is failed so now this is the dynamic value today's tutorial i'll show you auto correlation next tutorial i'll show you manual correlation this is the dynamic value we need to correlate so if you go to the design then design studio click design studio here is already that dynamic value captured so just click over here correlate correlate apply it that's mean correlation complete and close this window if you see over here that dynamic value replace with the parameter correlation parameter it is user session not in there so now go to on top you see correlation comment do not change this this is correlation script code added what is the load runner function web reg save param reg xp the dash means this is correlated with the correlated basically this is the function name there is the param name regular expression name source item scope body ignore this code automatically added by the load runner this is called automatic correlation and manual correlation you have to figure it out all those things manually you have to create that correlation so now if we run this script it should pass let's run this script this is login and logout script is passed there is no fail because of this dynamic value in this way you can handle load runner script dynamic value with the correlation i believe this automation um, automatic correlation will be helpful for you i believe this will be helpful for those who are new in performance testing using load runner uh, if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also, if you have any question regarding correlation in load runner, please make a comment. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video.